Hello, and here we are looking at another um, AI tool in our AI series for education. This time we're going to look at Canva. Now, Canva's had quite a few uh, updates in terms of accessing AI in their program. So we're just going to look at a couple of things today and this video and then uh, take a little bit deeper. Uh, they just had an update with Magic Studio that I'm looking uh, forward to playing around with some more. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're just going to look at some of the basic documents, presentations, images that they can uh, use AI for. So if I just go ahead and click on documents, now that I'm logged in, ready to go, uh, we're just going to start with a blank doc. So Canva over the last year or so have been really uh, accessing their magic system, like adding, uh, in this case, magic right in their documents. You can do magic images, magic editing, um, but we're going to access magic right today. And Magic Right, if you look, it's very similar to how uh, we can access prompt in uh, ChatGPT. Uh, this one just goes directly into your doc. So if I go ahead and access uh, access their AI system here and just type in, uh, give me a five say about penguins, and then hit enter. So it's going to start generating some ideas, some text, and there we go. Here's our five paragraph essay all about penguins. And much like ChatGPT2, it gives us a little uh, prompt. Here's a five paragraph essay, uh, and then it goes right into it. So penguins are a fascinating group of flightless birds and are found primarily in the Southern Hemisphere. And then it just continues on. So much like any other AI tool, definitely do some editing, definitely do some research. Uh, to make sure that all of this is uh, appropriate, uh, is factual, and you're able to uh, use it with, in your own words as well. Um, so if I continue on here, again, it's just a quick plus sign, magic, right? They even give you some examples here. So if I go ahead and click on that, five Twitter posts announcing the product launch of a new alarm clock phone app. So let's see what those look like. So again, if you need some ideas, some really quick idea generating, either for Twitter posts, YouTube channel videos, um, we could use uh, Canva to do that as well. So there's some five quick posts for that new alarm clock phone app. Okay, let's look a little bit deeper here and let's start to add some images. So as I mentioned before, they also access uh, AI for some images. So if I go into the app section, uh, you can scroll down just a little bit and you will find some popular apps. And the one in particular that I want to talk about is this one. It's called Magic Media. So if I go ahead and click on that, uh, you will see another section for a prompt to generate some images. And they also created a section for generating videos. Um, I'm part of an education account, so unfortunately it's not included with the education account, so I won't be able to go into that. Uh, but we could generate those images. So if we stick with that theme of penguins, like I did earlier, so maybe we want an image about that. So uh, give me a photo of a penguin in a skateboard. So just give it a few seconds and you can see that it's working, it's generating. Uh, it's very similar to, um, Dolly, but I like the images, the image quality a lot better in Canva as opposed to Dolly. And you'll see already we have one penguin riding on a skateboard and a couple more there. And we can simply just click one of these, drag it right into our document, drag it into our flyer, whatever we want, uh, whatever we're creating, and uh, it's there for us to use. Uh, if we don't like these images, we can go ahead and just generate again and see what four new images of a penguin riding a skateboard that it can come up with. So any image that you're struggling to find through maybe like Google images or other image sources, um, you can just use Canva to create that for you. So it's given us four more here, just finishing up and we can decide if we want to choose those or not. So how does this help students? So much like any other AI tool, just helping with those idea generations for those that don't really consider themselves as artists per se, but they know what they want to look for uh, to kind of help creating like stories or books or maybe just some sentence prompts or story prompts, we can use uh, Canva Magic Media to do that. And another thing that students can do as well, we can notice, now I noticed that we have two different types of uh, writing forms here, but we could convert this and using uh, 
Canva to help convert this document directly into a slide deck. So we could actually see a few designs here and see what it turns into. So they even give you the sample on the side. Obviously, after some editing, maybe even moving some of those photos around, we can actually take one of these designs and create a presentation. So Canva does have a lot of those really helpful features uh, to get students from uh, point A to point B a lot quicker to kind of help them with uh, being efficient, helping them with some idea generating, helping them uh, just move along in their presentation so they're not stuck in one spot. So if they don't like how this looks right now, we can actually just take this same image, copy it, and maybe we want to put it in the slide instead, and then we can And there we go, a little bit of cropping in there too, and we can move that penguin photo. So a lot of these little uh, tools and abilities from Canva that we can have our students use to kind of help them um, create some really neat graphic design templates here. So, all right, and that is the end of this really quick video. Um, if you're interested in more, uh, please by all means subscribe, like, and follow my channel, and we will see you soon.